three. Time out. Recording one. You probably think there's nothing to do for free in New York, right? Well, New York may be one of the most expensive cities in the world, but if you look carefully, there are still lots of fun things to do that will cost you next to nothing, or may even be free. We sent two journalists, Raphael and Carmen, out onto the streets of New York with just twenty dollars to spend. Their challenge was to organize a great day out, but not go over their budget. Let's listen to their plans, Raphael. Yes. Raphael, hi. Can you tell us what you're planning to do with your twenty dollars? Hi. Yes. Well. Actually, I'm going to start the day with a delicious bagel from a great bagel shop I've discovered on Third Avenue. They are really cheap and tasty. Then I'm going to spend the morning in Central Park. The park is filled with free events and street musicians, so I'm just going to listen to music and watch people. In the afternoon, I'm going to the Museum of American Finance. You have to pay to go in, but I'm really interested to find out about the history of American banking. After that. I'm taking the Staten Island ferry. It's free, and it's a great way to see views of New York from the water. In the evening, I'm going to see some live music on Second Avenue. I need to buy one drink, but the music is free. That sounds great, Raphael. Enjoy the day. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Okay, so Raphael has chosen bagels, Central Park, the Finance Museum, and live music in the evening. Let's hear about what Carmen is planning for her day. Carmen, hi. Carmen, can you tell us what you've planned for your day in New York City? Yes, of course. I'm really excited because I'm going to the High Line to see some sculptures. And just walk around and see what's happening. The High Line. What's that? It's an old railway track. Now it's used as a park, and there are lots of different activities and artists there. It's a really peaceful and beautiful place, right in the middle of the city. Lots of people go jogging there. I'm not going running though. I'm going to see a free art exhibition. After that, I'm going to Times Square. It's such a famous place. And there are a lot of tourists there, but I really like the atmosphere. And there's an Italian restaurant that does the best cheesecake just nearby. So I'm going to have something to eat. And then in the evening, I'm meeting with a friend, and we're going to a free hip hop class. I'm going to learn to dance like a real New Yorker. Wow, that sounds good. So first, you're going to eat cheesecake, and then you're going dancing, right? Exactly. That sounds like a great plan. So two great plans there. Which would you choose? Unit three, recording two. One. Gonna. I'm gonna see a free art exhibition. Two. Gonna. I'm gonna see some live music. Three. Gonna. We're gonna have a pizza. Four. Gonna. Are you gonna come with us? Unit three. Recording three. Concert hall. Countryside. Sports field. Nightclub. Street market. Shopping mall. Nature trail. Waterfront. Unit three, recording four. Conversation one. Como's restaurant. Hello, I'd like to book a table for four on Saturday night around eight thirty, if possible. Let me just have a look. This Saturday, 
Yes. Saturday the 15th. Sorry, we're completely full on Saturday. There's nothing at all. Ah, uh, what about Sunday? Sunday, Sunday... Um, the best I can do is a table at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? You haven't got anything earlier? Nothing at all, I'm afraid. Okay, let's go ahead, nine o'clock. Can I take your name, please? The table is for Jack Hopper. <laughs> Jack... Hang on, can you repeat that, please? Did you say Jack Hopper? Yes, H-O-P-P-E-R. Okay, that's all booked. Table for four, nine o'clock, Sunday. Great, thank you. Thank you. Conversation two. RSA Theatre, Jenny speaking, how can I help you? Hello, uh, I was wondering if you could help me. I've booked tickets for the show on the 10th of June, but I'd like to change the date. OK, one moment. Can I just check? What's the name, please? The tickets are booked in the name of James King. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you say King? James King. OK, yes, two tickets for June the 10th. What date would you like to change to? Uh, what dates do you still have seats for? Uh, there's nothing on the 12th or 13th. There are two seats for the 11th, but they're separate. We've oh, got... Sorry, can you slow down, please? Uh, two seats for... Sorry, two seats for the 11th, but they aren't together. We can do you two seats together on the 14th of June. 14th of June, that's fine. OK, I'll just go ahead and book that. Conversation 3. Hello? Hello, it's Mary here. Hello, can you hear me okay? It's Mary here. Oh, hi Mary. How are you? Very well, thanks. And you? Yeah, fine. Are you doing anything on Friday? Because a few of us are going out for dinner. Sorry, Mary, can you speak up please? I'm at the station and I, I can't hear a thing. Do you want to go for dinner on Friday? Oh, that sounds nice. There's going to be a few of us, Mohammed and Claire and Robin. That sounds like fun. Are you free? I think so. All right, 8.30, Saturday, Paulie's. OK, Paulie's on Saturday at 8.30. That's right. Great, see you soon. OK, thanks for calling. Conversation 4. Withertons, who's calling? Hello, this is Kim, Kim Brower. Can I speak to Alexandra Sanders, please? Uh, I'm afraid she's not here at the moment. Ah, do you know when she'll be back? I've tried her phone three or four times and left messages, but she hasn't called back. She's visiting a customer. She should be back this evening. Can I take a message? It's about dinner tonight. I've had to cancel because of work. OK, I'll ask her to call you back. Thanks. Does she have your number? It's 01823-2766. Oh, can you repeat that, please? 01823-2766. Unit 3, recording 5. 1. Can you slow down, please? 2. Can you hear me okay? 3. Can you speak up, please? Four. Can you repeat that, please? Unit three, recording six. Conversation one. My phone number is 765-9876-2135, okay? Conversation two. My full address is the one I gave you last week. The New York address. Conversation 3. My phone number is... Conversation 4. I'll be taking the 645 from Houston and changing up Miami. And I'll arrive at about 2. 
Unit 3, Recording 7 Conversation 1 My phone number is 765-9876-2135 OK? <laughs> Sorry, can you slow down please? Conversation 2 My full address is the one I gave you last week The New York address Sorry, can you speak up please? Conversation 3 My phone number is Can you repeat that please? Conversation 4 I'll be taking the 645 from Houston and changing up Miami and I'll arrive at about 2 Can I just check, did you say 2? Unit 3, recording 8. Okay, I'm going to tell you about how to go local in Pisa, Italy. I'm going to take you on a tour that only the locals would know about. First of all, we're starting the day with a coffee and a fresh pastry from a little bar near the Vettovaglie market. I love this place because it's where all the locals who are selling on the market go to have their coffee. And the coffee is delicious. We're going to spend the morning walking through the market and the old part of the city near the university. Afterwards, for lunch, we're going to one of the best restaurants I know. It's called Le Bandierine and they specialize in homemade spaghetti and seafood. And we're going to have a fantastic meal there. In the afternoon, we're planning to go a little outside Pisa to San Rossore Park. It's a beautiful place to walk, but they also have horse races there, so we can have some fun watching the horses. In the evening, we're going back towards the Leaning Tower for an early evening drink to look at the Piazza dei Miracoli as the sun goes down, when all the tourists have gone home. We'll finish the evening with a wonderful pizza from a restaurant on the other side of the city. I'm sure you'll love it. It's going to be a day to remember.